location. Van and Stevens Body Shop is your number one voted auto collision repair facility in Northwest Ohio. We have recently built a brand new state-of-the-art 20,000 square foot body shop along with a 2,500 square foot addition to our paint shop. This includes a brand new eco-friendly paint booth that is top of the line. At Van and Stevens, we use the latest and newest technology the industry has to offer. We are your experts on all makes and models of vehicles and are the only Chrysler, Ford, and GM certified collision repair facility in Northwest Ohio. Give us a call today at 419-497-3111 to schedule your free estimate or stop by and visit us in downtown Jewel, Ohio. At Stevens Body Shop, would like to wish all teams good luck this season. Clubhouse Pizza in A is your small town alternative for happy food at a happy place. Featuring one of the area's best pizzas, Clubhouse Pizza in Nay will not disappoint. Wing Wednesdays, buffets on Thursday, happy hour on Friday. That's just a few of the things Clubhouse Pizza in Nay has for specials. Stop out after the game for amazing food, great drinks, and an awesome atmosphere. Hours of operation are Wednesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Or order some takeout at 419-658-2720. Come by for a visit at 210 East Main Street in Nay or check them out on Facebook at Club Clubhouse Pizza and A. Rachel and Jason Gilliam and the great staff at Clubhouse Pizza and A are proud supporters of the Rams. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun of Defiance has been serving Northwest Ohio for over 30 years. Need cash? Collateral pawn loans are available. Stop in and see Shar and the staff at 5727 State Route 66 North in Defiance, Ohio. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun carries a full line of new and pre-owned items that include firearms, ammo, optics, game systems, knives, jewelry, and Amish Poly furniture. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun has in-house jewelry as well as a gunsmith on site. Hours of operation are Monday 10 to 7, Tuesday through Friday 10 to 5, and Saturday 9 to 3. Got questions? Give them a call 419-784-9880 or visit them online at woodenindianpawn.com or visit their Facebook page. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun, your locally owned pawn specialists. Say go Rams. The law office of Wiener Hill, Weber, and Stanley is a full-service law firm dedicated to providing quality legal services in defiance in all of Northwest Ohio. Since 1965, their attorneys have had a well-deserved reputation of excellence in serving clients with a focus on integrity, advocacy, and understanding. At Wiener, Hill, Weber, and Stanley, we are a general practice law firm that can handle all of your legal needs. We offer high-quality legal work and personal client service, and each of our attorneys is committed to providing you with top-notch legal support. Attorneys Jim Wiener, Danny Hill, Cam Stanley, and Ian Weber are here to assist you. Give them a call at 419-782-3010 or visit them online at wienerlawoffice.com. The law office of Wiener, Hill, Weber, and Stanley is a proud supporter of the Tenora Rams. Drop Zone Pizzeria in Ayersville and Stryker offers the area's best pizza, wings, subs, and calzones. In fact, Drop Zone Pizzeria was voted the area's best pizza in 2020 and again for 2020. From pickle pizza to pilot bread to grandma pizza, Drop Zone Pizzeria is always looking outside the pizza box for something special for their fantastic customers. Order by calling in Ayersville at 419-395-2525 or in Stryker at 419-990-2525. Hours of operation close Monday, Tuesday through Thursday and Sunday, 4 to 8 p.m., Friday and Saturday till 9. Drop Zone Pizzeria now with two locations, downtown Ayersville at 13995 Fruit Ridge Road and also at 301 South Defiant Street in downtown Stryker. Stop in at the Stryker location for a bite of ice cream. Visit them on Facebook at the Drop Zone Pizzeria where online ordering is available. And remember, the Drop Zone Pizzeria says go Rams. The Fired Stone Tavern in Defiance is anything but basic. In 2021, the Fired Stone Tavern was voted to have the best pizza in the area. Now, in 2022, they've been voted as the best burgers around. Fired Stone Tavern is the area's go-to for wood-fired pizza, amazing appetizers, and so much more. Chef Aaron and his staff are here to serve nothing but the best. No plans after the big game? Stop out for ice-cold drinks and all the games on TV you can ask for. Our back room and patio are available for events like birthdays, corporate lunches, parties, and much, much more during the week with a 25-person minimum. Located at 211 Carpenter Road at the Eagle Rock Golf Course, the hours of operation are Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. to 11 p.m., and Saturday and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Give the Firestone Tavern a call, 419-785-4015, or order online at firestonetavern.com. Firestone Tavern, which is the best to all the Tenora teams. Looking for home or auto insurance? What about building for retirement? Or looking to start a small investment portfolio for your family? Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services of Defiance has you covered. Tim Bidlack of Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services has over 10 years of investment experience. 
Tim can assist in estate planning, IRAs, 401k investments, among other financial planning areas. Need home or auto insurance? Welcome Austin Bidlack. He can assist you on those. At Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services, they will work one-on-one with you to make sure your home, auto, and business are protected. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services are located at 912 East 2nd Street in Defiance. Call Tim or Austin at 419-438-0023 today for a free quote. You can visit them online or on their Facebook page as well. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services wish the best to all the Tenor Rams athletes this season. BSN Sports, the recognized leader in team athletic gear. BSN forms partnerships with educators, coaches, and students to build school pride, student engagement, and community spirit. Our partnerships give you access to the most brand names in the industry with all of the hottest products at the best prices. From Nike to Wilson to Under Armour, we can customize any team needs. Since 1972, BSN Sports has brought you the brands that make you untouchable on the field, the court, or anywhere else you play your sport. Contact BSN local sports rep Jim Gares for any of your sports needs at 419-576-6894. Optimal Performance Fitness is not just your typical gym. Here at OPF, you don't pay for a membership just to hop on a treadmill. We are a fitness coaching center that strives to provide an experience like no other. We provide accountability and results. You either work one-on-one with a certified personal trainer or in a group setting with like-minded people. Here at OPF, we want to change your mindset of going to the gym into something that you enjoy and look forward to doing. Rather than going to the gym merely to work out, we train at OPF. We are your cheering section, your motivators, and so to be family. Optimal Performance Fitness strives to help you achieve the best version of yourself. Contact us today to take that first step. It could be life-changing. Stop with all the excuses. Let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. Call Jake at 419-438-7265 and get started today at Optimal Performance Fitness. Higby Embroidery of Defiance offers custom screen printing and custom embroidery to local high schools and individuals from all areas. Connie Higby and her staff have been serving and supporting Tenora High School as well as the Tri-County area since 1999. From throws to t-shirts to school jackets and much more, Higby Embroidery is here to serve your custom needs. Higby Embroidery is located at 1940 East 2nd Street in Defiance. Contact them at 419-428-3000 or visit them online at Higby.com or Higby Embroidery on Facebook. Higby Embroidery is a proud sponsor of the Tenora Rams Live Player of the Game Award. Maumee Valley Title Agency of Defiance has been providing seamless and transparent real estate closings in Northwest Ohio for 27 years. From contract to closing, their experienced team of attorneys and title agents work with vendors, businesses, and individuals to meet their real estate needs. Call the office at 419 419- 782-3334, Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., or visit them online at maumeetitle.com. Maumee Valley Title Agency of Defiance, which is all the Tenora Rams athletes the best this season. Okalona Tavern, located in downtown Okalona, is the home of the famous Oki Tavern Wings. Stop in after the game and get some delicious wings, burgers, fries, onion rings, and enjoy a nice cold beverage while talking about the game. Hours of operation are Tuesday to Sunday, opening at 4 p.m. Check out the Oklahoma Tavern on Facebook for a menu before you head out. Mexican food specials every Thursday and Sunday. The Oklahoma Tavern, a proud supporter of the Tenora Rams. Is your business looking for someone to take the day-to-day worries of your bookkeeping off your mind? Weber Bookkeeping Solutions of Defiance is here to help. With over five years of small business bookkeeping experience and seven years in banking, you can be confident that your books are in the right hands with Jenny Weber. Let Weber Bookkeeping Solutions handle the monthly tracking and reports so that you can focus on your business goals. Contact Jenny at 419-956-1273, and you can also visit her on Facebook or at WeberBookkeeping.com. Who couldn't use an extra 3000 or 2000 Okay, how about 1000 or even 500 Those are the top four prizes of the most recent Tenora Athletic Boosters fundraiser. Tickets are $10 each or 6 for 50 Get a ticket at any Tenora home game. Just visit a Booster member or go to our Facebook page at Tenora Athletic Boosters. The drawing will be held after 2,000 tickets are sold for a spring sports drawing. The Athletic Boosters is a nonprofit organization that supports the Tenora athletes, coaches, and athletic facilities. The Boosters' support is shown many ways, including volunteering time, raising money, and contributing funds to better enhance the Rams' teams or organization's performance. Yearly and lifetime memberships are available. That's the Tenora Rams Athletic Boosters, who are a proud sponsor of Tenora Sports and Tenora Rams Live. Welcome to Game 23 of the 2023 Tenora Lady Rams softball season. Tonight, live from Tenora High School, it's the Tenora Lady Rams taking on Brian Golden Bears in a tournament tune-up. 
The Rams of Tenora come in representing the GMC in the Green Meadows Conference, while the Golden Bears of Bryan come in representing the NWOAL, the Northwest Ohio Athletic League. Welcome to Science Excavating pregame show. The Science Excavating first pitch is set to take place at 5 p.m. Science Excavating can assist with your general excavating services, demolition, and emergency repair work. From driveways to ditches to ditch cleaning to site prep, Science Excavating is here to assist. Science Excavating team is committed to doing the job right, on schedule, and within budget. Based in rural defiance, Science Excavating services all of Northwest Ohio, providing reliable and affordable excavating services for your home, business, or industrial property. The Science Excavating team offers many excavating services, including stone hauling, trenching, demolition, land clearing, and drainage work. Science Excavating is the official pregame sponsor of the Tenora, Lady Ra Tenora Rams live spring sports season. For all excavating needs, call Josh at 419-769-2290. For trucking needs, call Brad at 419-481-3738. Or visit them on Facebook or at scienceexcavating.com. Well, the Tenora comes in with a 16-6 overall record. The Lady Rams finished second in the GMC with a 6-1 record, one game behind GMC champs Fairview. Ryan comes in at 20-1. The Golden Bears captured the 2023 NWOAL championship with a 7-0 record. The Golden Bears' lone defeat this season was on April 15th, a 5-1 loss to Perrysburg. In the OHSAA tournament, Tenora is the number three seed in the Northwest Three District Division Three, and will take on Oak Harbor, who is the number one overall seed, Wednesday at 4 p.m. at the Springfield Softball Field in Holland, Ohio. Bryan is the number one seed in Northwest two, Northwest Two Division Two District. The Golden Bears will take on winner of the Napoleon and St. Mary's game that was suspended due to rain on Friday. The Bears will play on May 18th at 4 p.m. at Racer Softball Field in Lima. And the circle for the Lady Rams will be Skyly Zolman. Zolman was last season's GMC Player of the Year and the Crescent News Player of the Year and is 13-4. With a 76 ERA, Skyly has pitched 120 innings, striking out 198 batters, allowing 53 hits, and walking 51. A great junior year for Zolman in the circle. At the plate for Tenora, senior Anna Frazier is hitting a 560 with 26 steals. Logan McQuillan is hitting a 507 with, a two, with 29 RBIs. Freshman Paige Gamby is hitting a 429 with three home runs and 122 RBIs. Zoe Rossi has played great lately. She's coming in hitting at three, uh, 354 with four home runs and 15 RBIs. Marin Pittman has been hot at the plate as well. She has had 13 RBIs. <clears throat> Looking at the visiting Brian Golden Bears, the Lady Rams have a chance to face one of the best pitchers in the area tonight in, in the Thea Stat Staten. She has a 59 ERA and an overall record of 19 and 0. She's thrown 131 innings, striking out 237 batters and walking just 38. At the plate, Brian is led by Staten as well. She's hitting a 472 with two home runs and 26 RBIs. Uh, Josie Arnold is hitting a 365 with 21 RBIs. Ryan is hitting a 336 as a team. Their team ERA in the circle is a 57. <coughs> Brian varsity head coach is Sam Molina, her fourth season with the Brian Golden Bears. Sonora head coach is Tony Fairchild, second season, 35-10, and 10, and was the 2022 Crescent News Coach of the Year. Wherever you are, however you may be listening or watching, thanks for tuning in to this afternoon's non-league game. Coming up live from Sonora High School, it's the Sonora Lady Rams taking on the Brian Golden Bears. 
We will be back after our national anthem to start tonight's game. Drop Zone Pizzeria in Ayersville and Stryker offers the area's best pizza, wings, subs, and calzones. In fact, Drop Zone Pizzeria was voted the area's best pizza in 2020 and again for 2022. From pickle pizza to pilot bread to grandma pizza, Drop Zone Pizzeria is always looking outside the pizza box for something special for their fantastic customers. Order by calling in Ayersville at 419-395-2525 or in Stryker at 419-990-2525. Hours of operation close Monday, Tuesday through Thursday, and Sunday, 4 to 8 p.m., Friday and Saturday till 9. Drop Zone Pizzeria now with two locations, downtown Ayersville at 13995 Fruit Ridge Road and also at 301 South Defiant Street in downtown Stryker. Stop in at the Stryker location for a bite of ice cream. Visit them on Facebook at the Drop Zone Pizzeria where online ordering is available. And remember, the Drop Zone Pizzeria says go Rams. The Fired Stone Tavern in Defiance is anything but basic. In 2021, the Fired Stone Tavern was voted to have the best pizza in the area. Now, in 2022, they've been voted as the best burgers around. Fired Stone Tavern is the area's go-to for wood-fired pizza, amazing appetizers, and so much more. Chef Aaron and his staff are here to serve nothing but the best. No plans after the big game? Stop out for ice-cold drinks and all the games on TV you can ask for. Our back room and patio are available for events like birthdays, corporate lunches, parties, and much, much more during the week with a 25-person minimum. Located at 211 Carpenter Road at the Eagle Rock Golf Course, the hours of operation are Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. And Saturday and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Give the Firestone Tavern a call, 419-785-4015, or order online at firestonetavern.com. Firestone Tavern wishes the best to all the Tenora teams. Optimal Performance Fitness is not just your typical gym. Here at OPF, you don't pay for a membership just to hop on a treadmill. We are a fitness coaching center that strives to provide an experience like no other. We provide accountability and results. You either work one-on-one -on -one with a certified personal trainer or in a group setting with like-minded people. Here at OPF, we want to change your mindset of going to the gym into something that you enjoy and look forward to doing. Rather than going to the gym merely to work out, we train at OPF. We are your cheering section, your motivators, and so to be family. Optimal Performance Fitness strives to help you achieve the best version of yourself. Contact us today to take that first step. It could be life-changing. Stop with all the excuses. Let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. Call Jake at 419-438-7265 and get started today at Optimal Performance Fitness. Looking for an opportunity where you can grow your career, be appreciated, and be an owner where you work? Did we say... Owner? Yes! Mech is an employee-owned company that is highly motivated and actively supports the communities in which our facilities are located. Mayville Engineering needs you. Mech is an employee-owned business where our focus is on our customers' success. Mech has been named the nation's number one fabricator for 12 consecutive years in a survey published by the Fabricator magazine. Join the Mech family today. Full and part-time positions are available. $1,000 sign-on bonus, 401k, vacation and holiday pay, gain sharing program, employee stock ownership, medical, dental, and vision insurance, short-term and long-term disability, and shift premiums for second and third shift. Visit our website, mechinc.com. Click on careers or visit the 21 Seneca Street lobby at the Defiance location. Are you tired of losing money on your 401k or other retirement accounts? Well, you're not alone. Do what many area residents have done and call Postoma Insurance and Investments with safe money strategies offered to you by PI&I. 
you can still have the benefits of market earnings without the risk of taking market loss. Sound too good to be true? Give us a call, and with experienced agents at PI and I will work with you to understand how you can do just that. If you're more interested in the CD style accounts but are fed up with low CD rates, PI and I agents can set you up with an account with rates currently as high as 5.5% fixed, with certain restrictions apply. Call us today at 419-782-2500 to help you set up a plan that meets your investment goals. That's 782-2500, Postima Insurance and Investments, protecting everything you've worked for. Speaking act responsibly and show courtesy and respect for your fellow fans, the officials and coaches, the administrators and authority figures, and of course, your team and opponents. Let's make today's contest great by remembering to respect the game. Thank you. The officials assigned to this contest have been selected and assigned according to the procedures adopted by the Ohio High School Athletic Association. Tonight's officials are Dan Carnahan, Max Metzler, and Pat Bowser. And now let's meet the teams. First, the visiting Brian Ferris. Nine starters. Number one, Annalicia McCoy Martinez. Number three, Caitlin Noggle. Number six, Claire Stever. Number seven, Emily Hess. Number 10, Tegan Blatt. Number 12, Mackenzie Mason. Number 22, Mackenzie Blevins. And now the starters. Batting first, playing catcher, number five, Ella Lloyd. Batting second, playing center field, number 11, Marley Yoder. Batting third, pitcher, number 13, Thea Staten. Batting fourth, playing shortstop, number 18, Kaylin DeWitt. Batting fifth, playing second base, number two, Josie Arnold. Batting sixth, playing first base, number 21, Kaylee Thiel. Batting seventh, playing third base, number 15, Miley Vollmer. Batting eighth, playing left field, number 14, Tabitha Taylor. And batting ninth, playing right field, number four, Reese Grohaus. And now for the Tenor Rams. First and non starters. Number three, Kaylee Lucas. Number four, Trinity Corver. Number five, Mallory Zakrich. Number 15, Christina Meyer. Number 21, Devonna Holmes. Now the starters. Batting first, playing center field, number one, Anna Frazier. Batting second, playing right field, number 22, Marin Pittman. Batting third, playing second base, number nine, Logan McQuillan. Batting fourth, catcher, number 12, Paige Gamby. Batting fifth, playing first base, number two, Paige Carpenter. Batting sixth, playing left field, number 34, Zoe Rostai. Batting seventh, pitcher, number 24, Skyler Goldman. Batting eighth, playing shortstop, number 10, Tegan Norton. Batting ninth, the designated player, number eight, Mickey Starkey. And the flex player, catcher number 20, Danae Smith. Please stand if you are able and join us in honoring America with the playing of the Star Spangled Banner.
Welcome back as we get underway to start tonight's game. We have starting pitch is supposed to take off at five. We're a couple minutes behind here. Um, Skyly will warm up here on the mound and we'll go through our positioning for our, our Lady Rams here. Uh, pitching for the Toronto Lady Rams tonight, we have Skyly Zolman. Catching is Paige Gamby. First is Paige Carpenter. Playing second is Logan McQuillan. Shortstop, we are looking at Tegan Norton playing third, Tanae Smith. In your outfield tonight, right field, we have Zoe Rothstein, center field, Anna Frazier, and I totally did that backwards. <laughs> Left field, Zoe Rothstein, center field, Anna Frazier, right field, Marin Pittman. Uh, batting lineup for the Bryan Golden Bears. Up to the plate first, we will have Ella Voigt. I hope there's no indication of how tonight is going to go for me announcing. <laughs> if I already started off with that backwards. Lady Rams are wearing green jerseys tonight with their black pants, and Brian Bears are in all purple. First pitch coming in will be a ball inside. Nice pitch there from Skyler with strike one. Looking at a 1-1 one, one count on Voight. It'll be a ball inside. And a 2-1 count. Pitch will be hit foul, kind of bounce back to the backstop here. We're looking at a 2-2 count. Ball will be hit to second. Logan McQuillan will scoop it up, throw it to Paige Carpenter at first to get out number one. It will bring to the plate for the Brian Bears, Marley Yoder. First pitch coming in will be swung on and missed for strike one. <coughs> Second pitch will be fouled off right back at us here. Looking at an 0-2 count. One out on the Golden Bears. Nobody on base. Be low outside. I got a one two count. We swung on hit to Tanae Smith at third. We'll be kind of bobbled a little bit. We kind of hit her high up on the wrist there. She will be safe at first. Now we'll bring to the plate for Brian. Staten. First pitch will be a ball low. Looking at a 1 0 count. Same pitch coming in will be fouled off right back behind us. We're going to 1-1 one, one count. Change up right on that inside corner will be strike number two. Looking at a 1-2 count on Staten. Still have a runner on first base for Brian. One out. It's coming in. will be swung on and missed for out number two. Brings to the plate for Brian, Caitlin DeWitt, or DeWitt. Pitch will be low. We'll get past Gamby there. 
Runner on first will advance to second. We have a 1 0 count on DeWitt. Runner standing on second and two outs. Which coming in would be a nice strike there from Skyly. Looking at a 1 1 count. Pitch will be hit right back to Skyly. She'll scoop that up and throw it to first for out number three. We know runs scored from Brian. Going into the bottom of the second, we'll be right back with the Lady Rams up to the plate. We are looking at Frazier, Pittman, and McQuillan batting up your first three for the Sonora Lady Rams. The Atten Stevens Body Shop is your number one voted auto collision repair facility in Northwest Ohio. We have recently built a brand new state-of-the-art 20,000 square foot body shop along with a 2,500 square foot addition to our paint shop. This includes a brand new eco-friendly paint booth that is top of the line. At Batten Stevens, we use the latest and newest technology the industry has to offer. We are your experts on all makes and models of vehicles and are the only Chrysler, Ford, and GM certified collision repair facility in Northwest Ohio. Give us a call today at 419-497-3111 to schedule your free estimate or stop by and visit us in downtown Jewel, Ohio. Matt and Stevens Body Shop would like to wish all teams good luck this season. All right, we are back with Lady Rams up to the plate. We are looking at Anna Frazier to lead the Lady Rams off here in the bottom of the second. No, bottom of the first. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself here. First pitch coming in will be popped off right back at us here for strike number one. Looking at 0-1 count on Frazier. Pitch number two coming in will be a ball high. Ball will be hit off. In foul. Third baseman will a dive to attempt to catch it, but will miss it. It'll be a foul ball. I bet that one probably hurt a little bit. <laughs> it's a little dry out here tonight. <laughs> Looking at a one ball, two strike count on Frazier. Pitch coming in will be a ball low. You got it, Anna. Be looking at a 2 2 count. Coming in will be fouled off right back at us. Still looking at a 2 2 count on Frazier. Ball high inside. We're looking at a full count on Frazier. And we'll pop that off. We'll go foul on the left hand side here. A little bit of a breeze out here tonight. Other than that, it's perfect ball weather. We've got a 73 degrees, a little bit of a breeze. Pitch coming in, we'll be swung out, hit right back to the pitcher. We'll bobble it. Anna will be safe at first. And I hit it right back to the pitcher, and she kind of like popped up on her and kind of hit her in the face mask there, and she kind of bobbled it. But with Anna's speed, she was able to secure her spot on first base. That will bring up to the plate Marin Pittman for the Lady Rams. Looking at no outs, Anna Frazier standing on first. 
Ball will be bunted. Call to strike. Anna Frazier will steal second and will be safe on second base. You're looking at an 0-1 count on Pittman. Second pitch will be swung on and missed. They're going to an 0-2 count on Pittman. Anna Frazier still standing on second. No outs on the Lady Rams. Pitch coming in. Be on that outside. Ball one. Come on, man. You can do this. It's going to be swung on and missed for strike number three. I'll be out one on the Lady Rams, bringing up to the plate Logan McQuillan. Still looking at Anna Frazier standing on second base. Pinch one coming in will be swung on and missed. They will throw the ball down to third for as Anna steals, and she will be safe. We're looking at an 0-1 count on McQuillan. Oh, pitch will be fouled off right back at us. So still get me every time. Looking at an 0-2 count on McQuillan. One out on the Lady Rams. Anna Frazier standing on third. It's coming and fouled off right back at us again. Making good contact, just needs to straighten it out a little bit and be a decent hit from McQuillan. Nice hit from McQuillan. They'll get right over second baseman's head. She will be safe on first, and Anna Frazier will run in for run number one. A nice hit from McQuillan, just high enough where the second baseman jumped for it but just couldn't quite reach it, and I was able to secure her spot on first base. Now we'll bring to the plate Paige Gamby. Still looking at one out on the Lady Rams. Ball first pitch will be popped up out back behind us here. <laughs> looking at an 0-1 count on Gamby. Gamby will bunt. It will be a nice good bunt. She she will be called out. I, that was a questionable call to me from my view. She definitely beat that, but but that will be out number two on the Lady Rams. That will bring it to the plate, Paige Carpenter. First pitch will be swung on and missed. I got an 0-1 count on Carpenter. Second pitch will be fouled off the right hand side here. Okay, two, you got this. I got an 0-2 count. Pitch coming out will be a ball high. So Logan McQuillan standing on second, two outs on the Lady Rams. Coming in will be a ball outside. Looking at a 2 2 count. Will be a ball high. Looking at a full count.
Uh, will be fouled off right back behind us. Still looking at a full count on Carpenter. Pitch will be swung on and missed for out number three on the Lady Rams. We'll be right back with the Brian Bears up to the plate. Going into the top of the second inning, we are looking at Sonora Lady Rams 1, Brian Bears 0 on our Drop Zone Pizzeria scoreboard. Clubhouse Pizza in A is your small town alternative for happy food at a happy place. Featuring one of the area's best pizzas, Clubhouse Pizza in A will not disappoint. Wing Wednesdays, buffets on Thursday, happy hour on Friday. That's just a few of the things Clubhouse Pizza in A has for specials. Stop out after the game for amazing food, great drinks, and an awesome atmosphere. Hours of operation are Wednesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Or order some takeout at 419-658-2720. Come by for a visit at 210 East Main Street in Nay, or check them out on Facebook at Clubhouse Pizza Nay. Rachel and Jason Gilliam and the great staff at Clubhouse Pizza in Nay are proud supporters of the Rams. All right, we are back to start at the top of the second inning here. We have Arnold up to the plate for the Brian Bears. First pitch will be a nice strike on that outside corner. Pitch two coming will be swung on and missed for strike number two. Looking at an 0 2 count on Arnold. Ball will be hit like a line drive to, to, to Tanae Smith at third. And it kind of hit off of her shin there. She stumbled. Tegan Orton will be there, back her up to go grab the ball. She will be safe on first. will bring to the plate Kaylee Thiel for Brian Bears. You'll have no outs and one runner on first. First pitch coming in will be a little high. Number two will be a nice strike there from Skyling. We're looking at a 1-1 one, one count on Thiel. She will lay down that bunt. Skyling will scoop it up. She will be out at first. They will be looking to make sure she does not go any further for second. So it'll be out number one on the Brian Bears will be Theom. And Arnold will advance to second on that bunt. I will bring to the plate Miley Volmer for the Brian Bears. We're going to one out, one runner on second. First pitch will be swung on and missed. Got an 0 1 count. We will lay down the bunt. Will be a foul ball as it bounced off and hit the bat again. She bunted that ball, it hit the ground and bounced back up and hit the bat a second time. So we'll be looking at an 0 2 count. Now they got to watch for that steal on second. Ooh, that was a close one from Skyly there. Will be called a ball. We got a one two count. She will put the bun out there. It will be a foul ball as it hit off of her. And she will be called out. Well, it's a dead ball. So 
So that will be out number two for the Brian Bears. That will bring up Tabitha Taylor to the plate for the Brian Bears. First pitch will be swung on and missed. She will throw that bunt, keep it out there for strike number two. Looking at an 0-2 count. Pitch will be swung on and missed for out number three. We'll be back. The Lady Rams tick into the plate. We'll be looking at Rostai, Zolman, and Norden. Our first three up to the plate. Wooden Indian Pond and Gun of Defiance has been serving Northwest Ohio for over 30 years. Need cash? Collateral pond loans are available. Stop in and see Shar and the staff at 5727 State Route 66 North in Defiance, Ohio. Wooden Indian Pond and Gun carries a full line of new and pre-owned items that include firearms, ammo, optics, game systems, knives, jewelry, and Amish Poly furniture. Wooden Indian Pond and Gun has in-house jewelry as well as a gunsmith on site. Hours of operation are Monday 10 to 7, Tuesday through Friday 10 to 5, and Saturday 9 to 3. Got questions? Give them a call 419-784-9880 or visit them online at woodenindianpawn.com or visit their Facebook page. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun, your locally owned pawn specialists. Say go Rams. All right, we are back with the Lady Rams taking to the plate. We have Zoe Rostai up to bat first for the Lady Rams. First pitch will be swung on and missed. Looking at an 0 2 count. 0 1 count, sorry. Second pitch coming in, swung on. No, it will be called an illegal pitch, so that will be called a ball. Oh. So we are looking at a 1 1 count. Basically, the pitchers have a lane they have to stay in. If they leave that lane, it's an illegal pitch, and it's an automatic ball. Pitch coming in will be swung on and missed. Looking at a 1-2 count. Strike three will be called on Zoe Rostai for out number one on the Lady Rams. I will bring to the plate Skyly Zolman. Looking at one out, no runners on base. First pitch, swung on and missed. Level swing. Second pitch, swung on and missed. Looking at an 0-2 count on Zolman. Her pitch will be a ball high. Got a 1-2 count on Zolman. Ball will be fouled off right back at us. Still looking at a 1-2 count. It will be a foul ball out of bounds on our left field side. You got it. <clears throat> Still looking at a one two count on Zolman. Which will be ball high inside. Take a breather. 
I got a 2 2 count. This will be a swung on and missed for out number two on the Lady Rams. We'll bring to the plate Tegan Norton. Looking at two outs on the Lady Rams, no runners on base. Norton up to the plate. First pitch coming in will be a ball low. Second pitch swung on and miss for strike number one. We're going to add a 1-1 one, one count. Strike two right on that outside corner there. We're going to add a 1-2 count. I'll come in and be fouled off the right field side. Probably popped up right next to the Rams dug out there. Looking at a one two count on Norton. He popped out foul again. Still looking at a one two count, two outs, no runners on base. Which will be swung on and missed for out number three on the Lady Rams. Bring the Brian Bears up to the plate. We'll be back. Going into the top of the third, we are still looking at Lady Rams one, Brian Bears nothing on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Northwest Ohio Sports is the place for sports rankings, news, scores, podcasts, and more for area athletics. Check them out at Northwest Ohio Sports on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All right, we are back with the Bears up to the plate. Going into the top of the third inning here, you'll have Gro growth, growth House, I want to say. will be hit to today. She will bobble a little bit and will not be a good throw to first. We'll get past Carpenter. Pittman will scoop up that ball, throw it into second. She will remain on second base. <laughs> that will bring up to the plate Voight for the Brian Bears. First pitch coming in will be fouled off right back at us. And an 0 1 count. No outs, one runner standing on second. Second pitch will be a ball high. There a 1-1 one, one count on Voight. Uh, we'll be bunted to Tanae Smith. We'll be fair. We will get the out at first. We will throw it over to third just to make sure she stays there. That will be out number one for Brian. That will advance Growth House to third. 
and bring up Marley Yoder to the plate for the Bears. First pitch will be a ball low outside. Gamby will keep that in front of her. It's going to be very important here. She has not let anything by her. Looking at a 1-0 count on Yoder. Pitch two will be a nice strike for Zolman. Looking at a 1-1 count. One out on the Brian Bears. One runner standing on third. Pitch will be swung on and fouled off the left hand side here. Look at a one two count on Yoder. Pitch will be a ball outside. Look at a two two count. Ball will be fouled off. Left hand side. Coach B will catch that <laughs> as it bounces off the net. Still looking at a 2 2 count. Just a little too far outside on that pitch. Looking at a full count on Yoder. Fouled off on the left hand side again. Still looking at a full count on Yoder. Ball four will be a ball low. Gamby will scoop that up, keeping her front of her. We'll advance Yoder to first. Still have a runner standing on third. Now it brings Staten to the plate for the Bears. First pitch will be a ball low. We'll get between Gamby's leg. She'll throw it in to down to third. She will be safe. Runner will advance in home on the pass ball from Paige. Paige will throw it down to third. Try to get the out there, but she will be safe. Caught a little bit of a timeout there just to gather themselves and get back. We're looking at a 1 0 count on Staten. Which will be a ball low. And then a 2 0 count. Catch will be a ball high. We'll get past Gamby there. Third baseman will run in and score. Looking at a 3-0 count on Staten. Fouled off right hand side. Looking at a 3 1 count on Staten. No runners on base, one out. Strike two will be called on Staten. We'll be looking at a full count. Will be hit. Looks like that will be over the fence for a home run for Staten.
That will bring to the plate for Brian Bears Duet. No runners on base. Still looking at one out on the Brian Bears. First pitch swung on and missed. And then a one count. Second pitch will be fouled off right back at us. We will be looking at an 0 2 count. Uh, we'll be hit up, fouled off right hand side. Looking at, still looking at an 0 2 count. Which will be a ball high. Tony will call a timeout as he goes out to talk to the umpire. Okay, we're back. Still looking at a one two count on Dewitt. Pitch will be check swing and they will call it no, so it will be a ball. Looking at a 2 2 count. Strike three will be swung on and missed. Will be out number two on the Brian Bears. That will bring up to the plate Arnold for the Bears. We're looking at two outs, no runners on base. This will be a ball high. Now a 1 0 count. Second pitch coming up. A nice strike from Skyly. Now a 1 1 count. It's coming in fouled off left hand side for strike number two. Tony Fairchild will call time again and talk to the umpire. Not really quite fully sure what the issue was there, but still looking at a one two count on Arnold here. Which will be swung on and fouled off the left hand side. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna stumble out there on the mound. will be hit right back to Skyly. She will make the scoop and get it for out number three. Down, 
We will be right back with the Lady Rams taking to the plate. We are looking at going into the bottom of the third inning here. Ryan Bears, three. Snore Lady Rams, one on our drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Maumee Valley Title Agency of Defiance has been providing seamless and transparent real estate closings in Northwest Ohio for 27 years. From contract to closing, their experienced team of attorneys and title agents work with lenders, businesses, and individuals to meet their real estate needs. Call the office at 419-782-3334 Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or visit them online at maumeetitle.com. Maumee Valley Title Agency of Defiance wishes all the Tenora Rams athletes the best this season. All right, we are back with the Lady Rams to, taking to the plate. We will have Mickey Starkey up for the Lady Rams. First pitch will be swung on and missed. You can do it, eh? Second pitch will be fouled off right back behind us here. Looking at an 0 2 count. That will again be called an illegal pitch. So that will be a ball. So we're looking at a 1 2 count. All will be fouled off right behind us. Nice to meet you, sir. Still looking at a one two count on Starkey. All will be fouled up out of play. Still looking at a 1-2 count. Starkey, no runners on base, no outs. Or the Lady Rams. Come on, be a ball low. Looking at a 2-2 two -two count. Well, we'll be hit right back to the, catch, to the pitcher. It kind of bounces off her legs. She will be safe at first. That will bring to the plate for the Lady Rams, Anna Frazier. Looking at no outs. Starkey on first. Anna Frazier up to the plate for the Lady Rams. Ball will be bunted. Pitcher will scoop it up. Anna will be out at first. Will advance Starkey to second. Bring Marin Pittman up to the plate for the Lady Rams. We're looking at one out. Starkey standing on second. This pitch will be swung on and fouled off right back behind us. No, that will actually be a ball as the call is an illegal pitch again. Pitch will be swung on and missed. Look at a 1 1 count. 1 2 2. Pitch will be a ball high. Looking at a 2 1 count. Ball will be popped up and fouled out of play. 
We're going to add a 2-2 count on Pittman. Starkey still standing on second base, still looking at one out. Cut it in two. Ball will be popped up and fouled out of play again. Still looking at a 2-2 count on Pittman. Which will be a ball outside. Let's go, Marin. Here now. You got this, Marin. Looking at a full count on Pittman. Starkey still standing on second. Tona will be fouled off right back behind us. Still looking at a full count on Pittman. Pitch will be swung on and missed for out number two on the Lady Rams. That will bring Logan McQuillan to the plate for the Lady Rams. Starkey still standing on second. We are looking at two outs. First pitch will be swung on and missed. Got a one count. Ball will be kind of swung on delayed on that changeup. Will be a foul ball. Looking at an 0-2 count on McQuillan. Will be a ball low. You're looking at a 1-2 count. On McQuillan, Starkey still standing on second. Should be a ball high. We're looking at a 2-2 two -two count. Ball will be hit, popped up out to center field. It will be caught for out number three. We'll be back with the Brian Bears taken to the plate. Going into the top of the fourth inning, we're still looking at Brian Bears three, Lady Rams one. We will be right back. The Law Office of Wiener Hill, Weber, and Stanley is a full-service law firm dedicated to providing quality legal services in defiance in all of Northwest Ohio. Since 1965, their attorneys have had a well-deserved reputation of excellence in serving clients with a focus on integrity, advocacy, and understanding. At Wiener, Hill, Weber, and Stanley, we are a general practice law firm that can handle all of your legal needs. We offer high-quality legal work and personal client service, and each of our attorneys is committed to providing you with top-notch legal support. Attorneys Jim Wiener, Danny Hill, Cam Stanley, and Ian Weber are here to assist you. Give them a call at 419-782-3010 or visit them online at wienerlawoffice.com. The law office of Wiener, Hill, Weber, and Stanley is a proud supporter of the Tenora Rams. All right, we are back with the Lady Rams taking to the field. Up to bat for Brian. We are looking at Thiel. First pitch will be swung on and missed. I've had an 0-1 count. Second pitch will be fouled off on our right-hand side. Look at an 0-2 count. Which will be a ball high. We are looking at a 1-2 count on Thiel. That should be a ball low. Oh, 
I got a 2 2 count on Thiel. Ball will be fouled off right back behind us. Still looking at a 2 2 count. No outs, no runners on base. Ball coming back. We'll get past infield. Anna Frazier will scoop that up. Throw it into second. Runner will be safe at first. That will bring to the plate Volmer for the Brian Bears. Looking at no outs, one runner on first. Pitch, first pitch will be swung on and missed. We'll be looking at an 0-1 count on Volmer. Pitch two will coming in will be swung on and missed. I got an 0 2 count. Pitch three coming in will be an outside. Not quite enough for Paige to be able to get there and grab it. We'll get past her and the runner will advance to second. Looking at a 1-2 count on Volmer. Pitch will be swung on and missed for out number one on the Brian Bears. Looking at one out, one runner on second. That will bring to the plate Taylor. Pitch coming in will be swung on and missed. Nice pitch there from Skyline. I got an 0 1 count. Pitch coming in will be bunted. Skyline will scoop that up for out number two. They will throw it to. Throw it, they will. They'll make that throw over to third base, hoping to get that girl out or she stole to third. Won't be the greatest throw there. We'll kind of get past Tegan as she's trying to cover third base. And Zoe Rostai will scoop it up, but it won't make the greatest throw home. So she will score at home. Up to the plate, we are looking at Growth House. First pitch will be swung on and will go foul. Looking at two outs on the Brian Bears. 0-1 oh, count. Pitch will be a ball high. Got a 1-1 one, one count on Growth House. Pitch will be swung on and missed. Looking at a 1-2 count. Pitch coming in will be hit to shortstop. Tegan Norton will make the throw to first for out number three. That will bring our Lady Rams up to the plate. We'll be looking at Gamby, Carpenter, and Rostai for the Lady Rams. We will be back.
Fairchild Family Chiropractic is happy to announce that Dr. Kayla is now accepting new patients. Long-term wellness continues to be our goal for families of Northwest Ohio. We help you achieve this goal by working closely with you and personalizing your treatment plan based on your needs. Come see Dr. AJ and Dr. Kayla at 100 Stadium Drive in Defiance or give them a call 419-576-5070 to schedule your appointment or book online at fairchildfamilychiro.com. Dr. AJ and Dr. Kayla, proud members of the Tenor Athletic Boosters, say go Rams! All right, we are back going into the bottom of the fourth inning. We're going to have the Brian Bears four, Toronto Lady Rams one. We've got Paige Gamby up to the plate for the Lady Rams. First pitch will be swung on and popped up out of play. We will be looking at an 0-1 count on Gamby. Which will be swung on and missed. Looking at an 0-2 count. Which will be fouled off right back at her. Ball. Strike three will be swung on and missed. That will bring to the plate Paige Carpenter for the Lady Rams. We'll be looking at one out, no runners on base. That will be called an illegal pitch, so that will be a ball. Fouled off right back at us. We're looking at a 1-1 one, one count on Carpenter. Which will be swung on and missed. Looking at a 1-2 count. be hit will get past second base she will be safe on first fair child, coach fair child will call a timeout we will put in I'll switch runners out for Carpenter here. That will bring Zoe Rostai up to the plate for the Lady Rams. All right, we will be back after that switch there. Zoe Rostai up to the plate. First pitch coming in will be swung on and popped back to the pitcher who will throw the ball to second. Kind of have like a little bit of an interference there with second baseman and the runner there, but she will be safe. She will miss the ball. So Zoe Rostai will be safe on first as well. That will bring to the plate for the Lady Rams, Skyly Zolman. 
It's one of those times where we could use really nice home run hit bomb from Skyly. <laughs> First pitch will be swung on and missed. Got an 0-1 count on Zolman. Which will be a ball high. Got one out on the Lady Rams. Looking at a runner on second and first. Will be swung on and missed. Look at an 0 2 count. be check swinged and they will call it a strike. That will be out number two on the Lady Rams. That will bring up to the plate Tegan Norton. Still looking at a runner on second and first. It will be swung on and missed. Pitch number two will be swung on and missed. We're looking at an 0-2 count. Will be a ball high. Looking at a 1-2 count on Norden. Still looking at runner standing on second and first. Right. No, that will be an illegal pitch. We will be looking at a 2-2 count. Fouled off right back at us. Still looking at a 2 2 count on Norden. Strike three will be called. Right on that inside corner. We will be right back as the Lady Brian Bears take to the plate. Going into the top of the fifth inning, we are still looking at Brian four to our Lady Rams one. Is your business looking for someone to take the day-to-day -day worries of your bookkeeping off your mind? Weber Bookkeeping Solutions of Defiance is here to help. With over five years of small business bookkeeping experience and seven years in banking, you can be confident that your books are in the right hands with Jenny Weber. Let Weber Bookkeeping Solutions handle the monthly tracking and reports so that you can focus on your business goals. Contact Jenny at 419-956-1273, and you can also visit her on Facebook or at WeberBookkeeping.com. Okay, we are back as Brian will take to the plate. We were looking at the top of their batting order. Got Voigt up to the plate for the Brian, Brian Golden Bears. First pitch coming in will be a ball low. Pitch two coming in will be kind of bounced to second base there. She will scoop that up and they will get that out at first. That will be out number one on Brian. That will bring to the plate Yoder for the Brian Bears. Got one out, no runners on base. First pitch will be a ball outside.
Second pitch coming in will be slapped. Second base will run in and snag that. She will be out at first. That was a very close, <laughs> close play. And those slaps, yeah, they gotta make sure they run in on them. They're not coming very fast. Make that scoop and make a nice throw and a great play there. Up to the plate for Brian will be Staten. First pitch will be a strike. Pitch two coming in will be a ball low. We'll be looking at a 1-1 count on Staten. Oh, will be hit. Tegan Norton will will fumble it. She will be safe on first. Kind of bounced as it came to her. She tried to scoop it up, kind of dropped it, and just couldn't quite grab it. She will be safe on first, and that will bring to the plate Dewitt for the Brian Bears. First pitch will be ball low. Gamby will kind of lose it underneath her, and Stanton will advance to second on that air. Looking a 1 0 count. Two outs on Brian, one runner on first, or runner standing on second. Nice pitch from Skyler on that inside corner. Looking at a 1 1 count on Dewitt. It will be swung on and missed. They will call a time and they will put a pitch runner in for Staten. Looking at a one, two count on Dewitt. Two outs, one runner on second. She's coming in, will be strike three. We'll be back with the Lady Rams taking to the plate. Have your hair and nails gotten out of control over the past few months? Cut and Polish Salon of Defiance is your local salon to get all pampered up. Cut and Polish Salon offers a vast range of quality services, including haircuts, highlights, specialty coloring, waxing, manicures, and pedicures. Please schedule a visit at their fun, relaxing salon where you can be sure that all of your hair and nail needs are a top priority. Cut and Polish Hair and Nail Salon is located at 413 Hopkins Street in Defiance. Be sure to book your appointment today by calling 419-576-5087 or do your booking online by visiting their Facebook page. Cut and Polish Salon says, remember, it's all fun and games until someone breaks a nail. Cut and Polish Salon is a proud supporter of Tadora Rams Live. All right, we are back with Starkey up to the plate for the Lady Rams. First pitch will be a ball low. Ball will be hit. We'll go foul on the right field side. We'll be looking at a 1-1 one, one count on Starkey. No outs on the Lady Rams, no one on base. Pitch will be hit. Will be foul on the right field side again.
Looking at a one two count on Starkey. Oh, will be swung on and missed for out number one on the Lady Rams. That will bring to the plate back at the beginning of the lineup here with Anna Frazier. That will be popped up right back behind us. Will be called a strike around that outside corner. She'll be looking at O2 count. Pitch will be swung on and missed for out two on the Lady Rams. That will bring Marin Pittman up to the plate. Oh, will be hit. Just we'll go foul on the left field side. It's a nice hard hit. From there and then. I got an 0 1 count on Pittman. Which will be a ball outside. Be a 1 1 count. Will change up, will be popped up to second base, and she will catch that for out number three. We'll be back as the Lady Rams take to the field. Going into the top of the sixth inning, we are still looking at Brian Bears four, Toronto Lady Rams one on our drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Northwest Ohio Sports is the place for sports rankings, news, scores, podcasts, and more for area athletics. Check them out at Northwest Ohio Sports on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All right, we are back as Brian takes to the plate here. We will be looking at Josie Arnold up first for the Brian Bears. First pitch will be swung on and fouled off left field side. At an 0-1 count. Nice strike from Skyly there. It was right on that outside corner. Gorgeous pitch. Should throw them there all night. <laughs> I got an 0 2 count. They will check swing. They will call it a ball. Looking at a 1 2 count. Which will be a ball high. Bring Arnold to a 2 2 count. Which will be fouled off right back behind Paige. Still looking at a 2-2 count. Well, we'll be fouled off again on the left field side. Oh, 
Ball will be popped up to Norden. She will kind of fumble it, will get between her legs, and she will be safe on first. That will bring to the plate for Brian Kaylee Thiel. First pitch will be fouled off right back behind us. And an 0-1 count on Thiel. No outs, one runner on first for the Brian Bears. Pitch will be a ball low. Looking at a 1 1 count on Thiel. Which will be a ball low. Pinch will be swung on and missed for strike number two. Looking at a 2 2 count. <laughs> that will be called a ball. That was, that was pretty close. <laughs> We're looking at a full count on Thiel. The ball low for ball four. That will bring up Miley Vollmer for the Brian Bears to the plate. We will have a runner on second and first. That will be a foul ball. <coughs> will be an 0 1 count. Ball will be bunted. Carpenter will scoop it up, throw it to third. She will be safe at third. That will make bases loaded for the Brian Bears. I'll bring Tabitha Taylor up for the Brian Bears. First pitch will be swung on and missed. Look at an 0-1 count on Taylor. Bases loaded for Brian. No outs. She will bunt. Ball will be scooped. She will be out at home. A good play by Zolman and Gamby there. Ball will be bunted by Taylor. Zolman will scoop that up. Throw the ball into home, and she will be called out. Now they're going to ask for help on the outfield ups. And will be called out. That will put, still looking at all four, uh, still looking at full bait. Uh, looking at a runner on third and second first here. We'll bring Grothaus up to the plate for the 
Crying Bears. First pitch will be a ball. Trying to fix some notes on my papers here as they get situated. Ball will be hit to Tanae Smith. She will fumble it. Ball will be kept. And one run will score on that. They're still looking at bases loaded. We'll put a pinch runner in for Growth House there. And that will bring Voigt up to the plate for Brian Bears. Pitch coming in will be a ball high. <laughs> looking at a 1 0 count on Voigt. Still looking at one out for the Brian Bears. Bases loaded. Ball will be hit foul on the right field side. Will be swung on and missed for strike two. I got a one two count on Voight. Ball be hit foul right field side again. Still looking at a one two count. Ball fouled off right behind us. Still looking at a one two count on Voigt. Change up will be a ball high. Gamby will make that throw down to first. But she will be safe. So I'm looking at a 2-2 two -two count on Voight. Ball high will be snagged by Pagers. Doing a good job keeping those in front of her. Looking at a 3-2 count on Voight. And coming in will be a ball low inside. We'll bring Yoder up to the plate for Brian. Still looking at bases loaded. Foul ball directly into Lady Rams dugout. Have an 0-1 count on Yoder. Base is still loaded. Still one out. Strike two. There from Skyler. Nice pitch. Looking at an 0-2 count. All will be fouled off left field side. Still looking at an 0 2 count on Yoder. Yes. Strike three will be called for out number two. That will bring Staten up to the plate for Ryan Bears. First pitch will be a ball outside. Still looking at bases loaded, two outs. Looking at a 1-0 count on Staten. 
Nice inside corner throw. I had a 1 1 count on Staten. Ball will be hit. Tanae Smith will scoop it up, throw it to first. She will be out. That will bring the Lady Rams up to the plate. Going into the bottom of the sixth inning, we are looking at Brian six, Tenora Lady Rams one. We'll be back on our Drop Zone Pizzeria scoreboard. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun of Defiance has been serving Northwest Ohio for over 30 years. Need cash? Collateral pawn loans are available. Stop in and see Shar and the staff at 5727 State Route 66 North in Defiance, Ohio. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun carries a full line of new and pre-owned items that include firearms, ammo, optics, game systems, knives, jewelry, and Amish Poly furniture. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun has in-house jewelry as well as a gunsmith on site. Hours of operation are Monday 10 to 7, Tuesday through Friday 10 to 5, and Saturday 9 to 3. Got questions? Give them a call 419-784-9880 or visit them online at woodenindianpawn.com or visit their Facebook page. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun, your locally owned pawn specialists. Say go Rams. All right, we are back. Lady Rams take to the plate. We'll be looking at Logan McQuillan up for the Lady Rams. First pitch will be called a ball. Can our 1 0 count? Second pitch will be swung on and missed. Look at a 1 1 count on McQuillan. The legal pitch will be called, so that will be a ball. Look at it at a 2 1 count. Pitch will be swung on and miss. We're looking at a 2 2 count on McQuillan. Ball uh, will be popped up. Looks like got to center field. She will make the catch for the out. I'll bring up Paige Gamby to the plate for the Lady Rams. Looking at one out, no runners on base. Pitch coming in is going to be ball inside. Pitch coming in will be a ball low. Hit popped up. Will it go over? It will be over for a home run for Gamby. A nice hit from Paige there, right out in center field. Back at it. 
That will bring Paige Carpenter up to the plate for the Lady Rams. First pitch will be swung on and missed. Second pitch swung on and missed. Looking at an 0-2 count on Carpenter. One out, no runners on base. Which will be a ball high. Again, okay, a one two count. Which will be swung on and missed for out number two. We'll bring Zoe Rothside to the plate for the Lady Rams. Looking at two outs, no runners on base. This pitch will be a ball high. Second pitch will be fouled off right back behind us. We'll be looking at a 1-1 one, one count on Ross time. It's coming in will be an illegal pitch, so that will be a ball. Looking at two balls, one strike count. Basically, so to kind of get you guys to understand, this is a legal pitch that they're calling. So they have like a, there's a zone that they have to stay in when they make that, when she does her pitch. It's not where she's landing, it's where she comes down at in the initial pitch. Looking at a 2-2 two -two count on Rasta. Pitch will be a ball inside. Pitch will be swung on and missed for out number three. We will be right back as the Prime Bears take to the plate. Going into the top of the seventh inning, we are looking at Brian Bear six, Lady Rams two. Northwest Ohio Sports is the place for sports rankings, news, scores, podcasts, and more for area athletics. Check them out at Northwest Ohio Sports on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We are back as Prime Bears take to the plate. We should be looking at what uh, Duet up to the plate for Brian. Oh. 
First pitch coming in will be swung on and fouled off right side here. Pitch number two coming in will be a bomb. Third pitch will be a ball low. And then a 2 1 count on Duet. Ball low. Looking at a 3 1 count. Nice strike from Skyler there. We'll bring it to a full count. Will be hit or straight popped up to McQuillan there, and she will make that catch for an out number one. That will bring Josie Arnold to the plate for Brian. Got one out, no runners on base. First pitch will be a ball low outside. Pitch two will be a ball low. And a 2 0 count. Nice strike there from Skyler. Got a 2 1 count. Ball three will be low. And a 3 1 count. The ball four called. Casting ball high inside there. Know, those lefty batters makes it a little certain angles make it kind of hard to see on this side where I sit. That will put her on first base. That will bring up Thiel to the plate for Brian. This pitch will be a ball low. Maybe we'll make that throw down to first, try to get that tag on, but she will be safe. We'll make a 1 0 count on Thiel. Ball will be hit. We'll get past Anna Frazier. We'll scoop that up. We'll get the ball thrown in. We'll get past McQuillan there. Zolman will scoop it up and kill the play there. Keep it going now, 2 2. Okay, we put in Blevins <laughs> here for Volmer. <laughs> Tony's going to call a timeout. We'll be right back here in just a minute. Back with Blevins up to the plate for the Brian Bears. First pitch will be called a strike. The 
We've got an 0 1 count on Blevins. Looking at a runner on second and first. One out on the Brian Bears. Pitch two coming in will be a nice strike from Skyly there. Be looking at an 0 2 count on Blevins. Pitch three will be popped up out to Pittman. She will make the catch. They will tag up. Marin will throw that into third. And we will keep it in front of them. We'll advance runners to third and second. And that will be out number two. This will bring Taylor to the plate for the Brian Bears. Looking at two outs, runner on third and second. Will. Tanae will scoop that hit up. It was kind of a, kind of bounced a little bit. She will keep it. That will advance a runner home. We'll bring growth house up to the plate for Brian. We have a runner on third and, and first. Now we have a runner on third and second. And she advanced to second on the pitch there. And a 0 1 count. Looking at a 1-1 one, one count on Growth House. Nice inside corner from Skyly there. Looking at a 1-2 count. She will bunt and the bunt will go foul. That will be out number three for the Lady Rams. We'll be back as the Lady Rams take to the plate, going to, into the bottom of the seventh. We're looking at Brian Bear seven, Sonora Lady Rams yeah, two. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun of Defiance has been serving Northwest Ohio for over 30 years. Need cash? Collateral pawn loans are available. Stop in and see Shar and the staff at 5727 State Route 66 North in Defiance, Ohio. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun carries a full line of new and pre-owned items that include firearms, ammo, optics, game systems, knives, jewelry, and Amish Poly furniture. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun has in-house jewelry as well as a gunsmith on site. Hours of operation are Monday 10 to 7, Tuesday through Friday 10 to 5, and Saturday 9 to 3. Got questions? Give them a call 419-784-9880 or visit them online at woodenindianpawn.com or visit their Facebook page. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun, your locally owned pawn specialists. Say go Rams. Hey, we are back with the Lady Rams taking to the plate. Up to bat, we have Skyly Zolman. First pitch will be swung on and missed. Will be an illegal pitch, so that will be a ball. Well, we will look at a 1 1 count. Pitch will be swung on and missed. We got our one two count. Which will be a ball. We're going to add a two two count on Zolman. Coming in will be swung on and missed for out number one on the Lady Rams. 
That will bring to the plate Tika Norton for the Lady Rams. First pitch will be popped out and out of play for foul ball. Uh, top of the sixth. Oh, will be hit to shortstop. Will kind of pop up. She will be safe on first. Kind of <laughs> delayed call there from the umpire. Shortstop is hit hard, kind of shortstop. She bum fumbled it a little bit there, but Norton was able to beat the call. Five, five, one, top of the six. That will bring up Starkey to the plate for the Lady Rams. First pitch will be swung on and missed. Looking at an 0-1 count on Starkey. Strike two will be called. And an 0-2 count on Starkey. One runner on first, one out on the Lady Rams. Uh, will be fouled off right here inside. You can do it, eh? Battle up there. It's coming in, will be fouled off right over right field side dugout. Well, popped up, fouled off, fouled off right back at us here. Still looking at an 0 2 count from Starkey. Strike three will be called on, strike, on Starkey. That will be out number two. Bring Anna Frazier to the plate for the Lady Rams. Anna will foul that off left hand side. Looking at an 0 1 count on Frazier. Uh, will be fouled off right back as. Looking at an 0 2 count on Frazier. Swung on and missed. Four out, number three on the Lady Rams. And that will be game. We're looking at Brian Golden Bears, seven. Sonora Lady Rams, two. We'll be back with our post-game summary. Looking for home or auto insurance? What about building for retirement? Or looking to start a small investment portfolio for your family? Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services of Defiance has you covered. Tim Bidlack of Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services has over 10 years of investment experience. 
Tim can assist in estate planning, IRAs, 401k investments, among other financial planning areas. Need home or auto insurance? Welcome Austin Bidlack. He can assist you on those. At Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services, they will work one-on-one with you to make sure your home, auto, and business are protected. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services are located at 912 East 2nd Street in Defiance. Call Tim or Austin at 419-438-0023 today for a free quote. You can visit them online or on their Facebook page as well. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services wish the best to all the Tenora Rams athletes this season. All right, we are back with our post-game summary for tonight's game. Uh, we got going in, we got Brian at seven and Lady Rams at two. It was a, <laughs> call it a rough game. Um, fielding, our, our defense was a little, not going to lie, it was kind of rough. Um, lots of lots of errors out there tonight. I mean, between – just not being able to keep the ball in front of us and not making good thro throws, I mean, plays, and then making throws that didn't need to be made. Um, it's just kind of – you could tell that right off the beginning they kind of they were kind of struggling a little bit. We had some – lots of plays at third that got bobbled, plays at short. Um, not the best throws thrown to first. Um, throws that got thrown from first to third that – weren't the greatest allowing runs, especially when you have, I mean, bases loaded. We have bases loaded multiple times out and coming in, like, to the uh, sixth and seventh inning there. And that's something going into this, like, you can't, we can't afford to do. Um, coming into our offense as far as our batting wasn't really the greatest tonight. We had a lot of strikeouts from the Lady Rams. Um, they did have a nice home run for Paige Gamby, and, Anna Frazier's first time out to bat, she had a really nice on base, and she did great see on the bases getting to second and third and getting in for that run uh, to score our first run and to follow with Paige Gamby's home run to get us run number two. But, I mean, as far as our bats going tonight, they just weren't there. Um, but, yeah, I mean, going into Wednesday's game at Springfield, there, I mean – Lady Rams have got to start playing a little bit more like a team. We had a hard time tonight with doing that with our defense. Like, once they start kind of getting out and getting into a rut there, it's kind of hard for them to get out of, and that's something that they really need to work on. They have to have – I mean, going for, like, your pitching, you got to have – you got to back up your pitcher. I mean, she can only do – they can only really do so much, and then they got to have that defense there backing them up. If you don't have that, that's when they're going to start scoring runs on you. But – that will be tonight's game. The Lady Rams will be back in action come Wednesday night. We'll be – just a second. I'll get that information. We'll be taking on Oak Harbor um, Wednesday night at 4 p.m. at Springfield Softball Field in Holland. Uh, we will be broadcasting that game, me and Keith, Wednesday night. So tune in, and we will uh, – Hopefully, Lady Rams have some good defense, some good battings come Wednesday, and Lady Rams will pull in the, the victory Wednesday night, and hopefully we can keep moving on in, in the tournament. So thank you guys for tuning in, and I'm Kaylee Runk, and I'll see you again Wednesday night with, with Keith with me. You guys have a good night. Thank you for listening. <laughs>